module 2 under runoff we will be studying the factors affecting runoff so last class we have already studied uh, what is runoff and its components so runoff can be the volume of surplus water discharged by a catchment area into a particular water body so this runoff is usually expressed in a centimeter as we uh, we have seen in the case of rainfall and uh, it is measured in um, uh, daily basis or monthly or yearly basis now we are moving on to the factors affecting runoff now we will see the factors affecting runoff one by one the first factor is a rainfall pattern so in a catchment area if the rainfall is very heavy then a runoff will be less and uh, if the intensity of the rainfall is low then there may not be any runoff at all because all the rainwater will be lost either by interception. Interception we have already studied um, the water which is stuck in the leaves or uh, branches of a tree. Okay, And then uh, uh, it can be lost by um, infiltration or maybe evaporation loss. Okay, And the second factor is uh, character of catchment surface. So catchment area uh, is the area from which rainfall flows into a river or a lake or a reservoir. So if the uh, rain falls into a rocky or a clayey area, then the infiltration is not possible and the amount of runoff will be more. On the other hand, if it is a sandy area, then all the water which falls on the ground will be infiltrated and the runoff will be less. Because the sandy area will be having uh, more voids in the um, sand. So, infiltration may be taking place very fastly. Then the third uh, factor is topography. So, topography of the land may be of a different type. If the area is very sloppy, then there is uh, no time for any loss to take place. And the runoff can um, soon reach into a water body. So, if the area is not flat and has uh, so many uh, pits or uh, depressions, then the water will be stuck in those um, depressions and it cannot contribute to the runoff. Then, um, Fourth one is uh, shape and size of the catchment. So you can see a figure here. There are two shapes of catchment area. One is a fan, uh, fan shaped catchment, and the second is fern, F E R N, fern shaped catchment. So runoff will be more if the catchment is large and it is fan shaped because all the um, you can see some substreams here, and this is the main stream. So all the uh, substreams will be very near to the um, main channel and uh, without much loss the excess water can be reached, um, uh, it can reach the outlet. This is the outlet point. So uh, excess water can reach um, um, the outlet very fastly. Okay, So it can uh, reach as runoff. But if the area is uh, very less and it has a fern shape, some of the amount of runoff water uh, which flows along the along the streams you can see the streams here it may get evaporated and only um, a lesser amount of water reaches the outlet as runoff so you can see a long way here so throughout the way the water can get evaporated or get stuck in some place then the next uh, factor is vegetal cover so if the area is protected with uh, more vegetation then the rainwater which falls on the ground will not experience much evaporation loss because uh, sun's uh, rays cannot reach directly into the ground surface but if the area is very plain with uh, no vegetal cover then the evaporation loss may be um, very high and runoff will be less okay then the next one is uh, geology of the area as i said uh, earlier in the case of topography um, if the catchment area is full of pits and cracks then the rainwater will get trapped in these openings so in that case the trapped water will be contributing to only the groundwater and runoff will be very less okay then um, the last factor is uh, weather conditions. So, you know, temperature can also affect the rate of runoff. If, if a particular area uh, experiences high temperature, uh, when rain occurs, uh, an amount of it will get absorbed by the ground surface and runoff will be less. Uh, on the other hand, if the temperature of the area is less, then the runoff will be more compared to the other. Okay, so these are the factors affecting runoff.